<laughs> I'm so glad I mind the business that pays me because I sip on my own tea. You never know somebody's life and what God is doing for them in their life. You want to judge the book by the cover and don't know what's going on in their life. That's why it's good to sit down and reevaluate yourself and just know for a fact that you is good before you go to judging somebody else. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling y'all, sometimes you got to rethink before you go to opening your mouth, blabbing it out, talking about the next individual. I have seen God move in my life of situations I shouldn't have even got out of. I never thought a situation I was never going to get out because I was so afraid of what I would go through to get out of that situation, if y'all know what I mean. So that's why I'm so grateful that I learned to stop worrying about stuff I can't control and stuff that God don't want me to worry about. I thought I wouldn't escape out of the situation because it was there for so long. So I was like, it's no way out because I feel like I was stuck and I was in a bound and it was like a forever thing. But it's never a forever thing. God would take you out so fast as long as you want to get out of that. And he know this is what you want. And this is something you want to get out of. God will help you and things that should have happened to me god prevented them from happening things i should have lost but they still are kept i still have it things i really thought that i should have lost in life i still have it with me have you ever been in a situation where you know it was hard for other people to get in like a job opportunity or anything and then once you apply and went to your interview or whatever and then boom you got it have you ever been in a situation like that because i'm pretty sure somebody been in a situation then other people looking at you like wow how could they receive and got this but it was hard for me and i i still haven't gotten into that you know because what's for you is for you it doesn't matter who wish that they had it or you thought you couldn't get it when god had purpose for you is yours you gotta claim it and have the faith have you been so devastated about losing your home your job your car your loved one your relationship i know there's some people i have been devastated about that and then you sat in your car moping around crying you know thinking about it so much and catching anxieties and then somebody come up to you and be like I got you. Whatever you're going through, I will help you. And that'd be like an angel God sent for you. And you just don't understand because what is said is it don't need to be understood. What God have for you is for you. And what is understood is understood. You will never understand because it's a supernatural thing. You feel me? It's a supernatural thing. And that is not to be not to be understood at all have y'all ever had a super uh supernatural problem like you go to the doctor or something then they tell you have something but they don't have a diagnose for it and then they running all these tests and then you looking crazy driving yourself nuts because they don't know what's the cause of something and then you go back and then they say oh you cleared you don't have this i don't know why your test came up like that that's supernatural stuff, y'all. God be healing us and taking care of the situation. But sometimes we be so lacking faith where we don't use our faith to the max. We need to ask God to increase our faith and enlarge our territory. People say it ain't no way out of this. And God say, yes, it is. I got you. I can't tell me my God isn't good. God is so good. Like, it don't make sense. It wouldn't make sense of what God can do. We be trying to dig and find out what makes sense. Sometimes it don't make sense. So leave that up to him because he would definitely do it. He would do it for you just as well as he do it for me. Y'all know stress is a serious disease. Stress will kill you. Stress will send you straight to death. You will reach your eyes in the casket somewhere because you stressing that's why i'm here to tell y'all stop stressing everything gonna be all right keep pressing on keep progressing keep doing what you need to do to make it 
Just stop it. Stop worrying. Somebody better get up today and say, I no longer worry about what I don't have. I no longer wor worry about a job. I'm no longer worrying about a car. I'm no longer worrying about things I cannot control. Say, I'm not worrying. Say it with me. I am not worrying about things is out of my control. I will not do it. Step into faith and tell yourself, I'm going to leave it alone and let God fight my battle. I'm no longer worrying about what I cannot control and what I don't have and what if and what if not. I'm not worrying about that. I'm going to stay focused and keep my head up high and tip my chin and tell myself worrying is not the key. Best believe when one thing ended, God has another plan for you lined up, up and ready for you. It's just you walk into your purpose, walk into your faith, and you will get everything that God desired for you. So worrying, that's a no, 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 no. Don't you worry. If you have to leave that job, leave that job. Don't let that job take control of you. Don't let them people at that job take control of you. Don't be focusing on what you may not have and what you may not have to do and what you have to do. That's why you're holding on to this job that don't mean you no good. Just leave it. Leave it. At this point in my life, faith is my currency. I've been praying and asking God to increase my faith. And the more and more I ask him to do that, the more and more my faith gets stronger and stronger and stronger. Nothing God can't do. And building this relationship with God to be stronger with him and to help me strengthen my faith. And it been working. It been really working, y'all, because I used to be doubting and saying, what if I be praying and asking for certain things and then I go to doubt. And now I'm not a doubter. I believe and when I say I believe, I believe. I could say something could happen right now and believe it and it will happen. That's how powerful my faith is. I surrender everything and tell God I surrender this to you and let him handle and fight my battle. I let him do the work. I done did my part by giving it all up to him and I let him do him and let him do his part because I know it's going to be done right and it's going to be done fast and a matter of time. Stop worrying about tomorrow. Because tomorrow is in promise. Focus on today and what you want to get done today and press for. Think about what's done today and what needs to be done today. By you having faith and living your life to the fullest and getting yourself together and just knowing that these things are going to be all right. Okay? Stop worrying about tomorrow. Stop letting your family worry you and tell you what not to do and what to do. Y'all gonna let these people drive y'all crazy. If your family that type of people, that goes for anybody. Stop letting your family change things for you and make decisions for you. If you're happy, you're happy. If you're sad, you're sad. If you want better, you want better. If you want to do this and do that, do it. Stop letting them make you feel bad about the choices you're making. You got to live for you and they got to live for them. Stop letting people speak negativity over your life. Stop letting people pray for you. Stop letting all this because not everybody mean well. Not everybody mean well when they speak stuff over you. Some people be jealous of you and want what you have. And then they'll pray on your downfall. Pray for bad stuff. But you got to be rooted and grounded and know that you can step and, you know, rebuke those spirits. And whatever somebody trying to put on you, you got to be able to rebuke that. Stop letting people put stuff in your ear. I don't know why this is so strongly on my mind and my heart and in my spirit. Y'all, stop worrying. Let it go. Let it go. It's not worth another breath out of your life. Stop letting stuff get to you. Little things, even big things. If you let something small take you out like that, when something big, you ain't going to be able to handle that. Tell y'all, mandatory evacuate yourself. I don't know why this is on my mind. It's been a confirmation word all week. Around certain things and people, you need to evaluate yourself. Mandatory. Just do it. Don't ask yourself why. Don't ask no question. Just get up, pack your stuff, and go. It's not physically saying get up and move if that's not what it is. It could be your company. It could be your jobs. It could be the people you be around. It could be the choices you make. It could be some things you're doing and holding back in your life. Evacuate. Get rid of it. Let it go. 
Sometimes it be for the good. Let it go. It's in my spirit strongly, y'all. Listen, somebody need to hear this. Let it go. Mandatory. Evaluate yourself now. Do it now. And I promise y'all, whatever the circumstance you're going through, it's going to get better like that. Because you're being obedient. Obedient is better than sacrifice. The things I used to worry about, I no longer worry about. The people I used to worry about, I no longer worry about anymore. I'm not losing that one tear. I'm not losing a sleep at night. I'm not losing my freaking mind for these people anymore and for any items. I'm not doing it because I'm not going to worry. I'm just going to stay focused on what I'm supposed to stay focused on and keep going. I've seen God come through for me several times and he told me, you don't have to raise one more tear. So stop worrying. I got you. Whenever you need those arms to lean on, those shoulders to lean on, I'm your shoulder. I wrap my arms around you where you don't think my arms are there. My faith, my faith, strengthen my faith. That's what I've been telling him. Strengthen me from the head to my toe. It been time in my life when I've been having anxieties because I'm stressing over things I can't control. I'm no longer controlling anything that don't have nothing to do with me. No, sometimes we only human and we be in the flesh sometimes. We cries about things and worry about things and second guess about things. And we think, we overthink about a lot of stuff. But at the end of the day, when you're on the right path with God, you ain't got to worry about nothing, baby. Start letting these people get on your nerves and work you. Tell yourself, I am better than that. I am better than that. Faith I have now, you or nobody can tell me that nothing is possible. If it's an impossible, it's definitely a possible. If it's a day, it's a night. If it's a light, it's a dark. If it's an in, it's an out. If it's an up, it's definitely a down. Because what goes up must come down. What goes in must come out. Y'all get it? So stop letting people tell y'all and stop telling yourself. Even if nobody else telling you and you telling yourself, Feeding your brain off this negativity, telling yourself, oh, I can't do this. Oh, I'm not going to do this. Oh, this, oh, that, oh, this, oh, that. Listen, y'all better stop it. Y'all better really get it together and stop worrying. Let it go. Tell it goodbye. Tell it no. I no longer want you in my life. Worrying spirits. Doubting spirits complaining spirits lazy spirits you got to go you have to talk to those spirits and tell them to go and flee your body flee your mind so you can be free and be able to get where you want to be as long as i got life health and strength keep fighting for everything i want and need and i'm going to make it long as i keep moving into my faith and keep moving and pressing I'm going to be fine, y'all. Y'all going to be fine. Faith is so strong. All you got to do is believe and let your faith take action. When things look like it's not going to go and not going as you want it to be, just keep praying. Keep going. Keep pressing forward. Just keep going. Don't let it stop you here. When things look tough and it looks so hard like you just done, like everything just all over, just have the faith and keep moving. Faith is what really moving you right now. Faith is what making you and having you going. That's what it is. It's really faith, 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 faith. All you got to do is keep believing and those doors going to open. But those that have clothes on you is, is, it's, it's never an end to it. God have something big and better for you. Just stop focusing on that and keep going, y'all. And everything going to be good. Miracle happened. Healing happened. Broken homes come to be a whole home all over again. God can do it. It's just you. It's you. Because God can do everything like this. But if you don't put in no work with your faith and stuff, your stuff just on a delay lane. It's delaying right now. I'm going to leave this with y'all right now because I'm about to end this video. Do not give up. Giving up is not an option. Don't give up, y'all. I know it's hard out here, but do not give up. I'm going to repeat that. Do not give up. Don't worry and keep progressing. And I love you guys, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.